So here we are in distressing, but first I had to show you the tape ball. Right. This is all of the uh, taped off fretboards. So when they come in here to get distressed and clean up, we add uh, to the tape ball. So you can see. This How is, this long is, has that tape uh, ball been growing? I think this is at least three years. I mean, this thing is it's a lot of necks. It's a lot of necks, a lot of sweet, sweet guitars. So. Yeah. The tape ball. You, know, you always got to have fun stuff like this around, you know? Sure. And if somebody gets out of line, I can just, you know, you can just tape ball them. Tape ball them. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so over here in Distressing, probably, you know, maybe the most unique thing that we do here. Um, a lot of uh, brands, you know, distress their guitars, but with the pine and with all that grain, we can do a lot of really interesting stuff. So there's Zane here. Zane does most of our Distressing, and he's got a Burgundy Sparkle Ceres J, one of our more popular models, and he's going to whack it for us. A rock and a railroad spike. <laughs> so the whole relicking thing is a little controversial. Do you Always. ever do you ever get orders for people that just want them straight? Absolutely, clean? absolutely. We do probably still about ninety percent of our guitars. Uh, probably actually trending down a little bit because we do direct sales, and so most customers, you know, themselves when they order it, a lot more of them besides, you know, stores want it to be. Um, we call it extra light yeah. because there's still like a little bit of distress. So how we do it is, you know, we, we call it no intentional distress. So uh, Zane won't touch it at all, but the hardware is still aged and we still do lacquer checking. Yeah. So that's our, our version of extra light. Sure. But it's, I think, 90% right now still want. I mean, that's kind of what we're known for with the way that they look with the, with the pine and, you know, all of that wood grain. I think people are into that's what a Nova looks like, so they want the distress. And people really, really want me to do more heavies, right? They were right. like, can you just, just absolutely just drag this thing? And we don't really like doing that too much, but since Zane's been doing it, he's got a little heavier hand, which I like. He's been he's been digging in a little bit harder, which is cool. Zane, I imagine your your, your car is covered in dents. Your, uh, your, yeah, you're just, my hands. You just hit shit everywhere you go. <laughs> he's just a, he's a, a bull, he's a bull yeah. in a china shop. He's just yeah. right in the rock. It's a dream gig. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. These guys build it, you break I it mess down. It up. Yeah. I mean, it's like it's, it's kind of cool because it's like something like extremely beautiful. Yeah. You know, that guitar in particular. It's a burgundy sparkle, all these clean lines, and then we're going to just basically. It. I mean, it's look at all the swirls the and light. stuff. Yeah. Really and then we're going to mess it up. Yes, yeah, so we talked a little about the, the lacquer checking. So how we do that is we do good old freezer lacquer checking. So what we want to do is we want to put this stuff in here and then it gets it nice and cold and then we heat it up and then the wood expands and contracts and then cracks the lacquer. Wow, so how long does it have to freeze? Um, usually we do it for a couple days in and out a few different times, you know, like 24 hours, pull it out, heat it up and then put it back in. Some stuff will go right away and then some stuff takes forever and it's super temperamental to get it done. So it kind of just, it's, it varies depending on, on the, the thing. But here's the one that we're working on here. Like you can see some of it's already starting in there. Wow. Might be tough to see on there, but you the can kind of see. Is just beating? Yeah, really? so you can see it's already starting on here. The sparkles, wow. they check immediately. That like is they are, they are super, super awesome. So you can kind of like it starts to get that idea where you've got the green pattern and you got the sparkle, and then you started getting those check lines in it, and you get. Uh, I mean, there's no way to get uh, the same instrument twice. It's just wow. there's so many factors in there with the distress, the lacquer checking, and the the um, the pine uh, grain. So wow. every guitar is completely unique. I'm amazed it is already cracking, and that was like five minutes ago. Yeah, absolutely. That's a thin finish. Yeah, it yeah. is thin. Like I said, it's, yeah. like I said, it's a it's a suggestion, you know. Yeah. So very cool.